Welcome everyone to another episode of Beer of the Week, brought to you by Rolling Hops, me, Andy, and my colleague, Garrett, showcasing another one of Ontario's fantastic craft breweries with a splendid beer style. So today we are coming at you with a brewery from Caledon, Ontario. The brewery is Sonnen Hill. So Garrett, what type of beer are we sipping on today? This one's called Gold. I love gold. They're describing it as a strong, dry lager. And I want to talk a little bit about, not necessarily the style as a lager, but when we refer to beers in, maybe specifically in the craft beer industry, of what a dry beer is. What do you think it means, uh, actually, Andy? Let's throw it over to you first. I think a dry lager is when they take out all the liquid from the drink. When it's no longer wet, incorrect. So dry is really more of a descriptor of how it tastes and how it sort of finishes when you're consuming it. But if we're gonna get a little bit more technical on what people mean and what maybe brewers are aiming for when brewing a dry lager or a dry style beer is really to do with attenuation. And that's essentially how the yeast used in the brewing process consumes all the simple sugars that are essentially put forth in the wort that come from you know, the malt, whether it's a barley or a wheat or any other sort of grain. They want to take all of those sugars and have the yeast eat them all up as much as possible so that you don't have any residual sugar left over, which typically will leave maybe a more full body presence in the beer and therefore as long as those are removed or at least removed to as much as they possibly can then you're going to get that dry aspect to the beer itself so sonnen hill has done that with this the gold i think they did it quite well and the fact that it is you know they deem it a strong dry lager it's sitting at 5.6 percent you do get that dry aspect to it, but it also still has some substance there because it's a little higher in alcohol, let's say, than your average beer or, or lager. So let's give it a shot. Mind you, I already had a couple sips during the intro because I couldn't wait. You cheated. I did. Okay, what's your, what's your preference? Okay, because you can obviously have more of a dry lager. You can have more like fruity flavors. You can have some more interesting different textures and flavors from the malt. Like, are you more of a dry guy or you like some some of that more sweetie stuff, perhaps more on the fruity boy side? Sweetie stuff. I don't know, it depends on my mood. Dry lag lagers in, in general typically will have a dry aspect to them. So if I'm going for one, maybe I'll shoot for that. You can really get anything uh, across the spectrum, whether it's dry, full bodied, sweet, etc. They're all pretty good. Highly recommend checking out your local craft brewery for many of these different styles. And now when you see dry lager, you're gonna know exactly what it means. Yeah, for sure. Well, Sonnet Hill too, just a big plug for them. It's a great location to go. Maybe if you're in Toronto, cause it's not too far away. If you wanna get out of the city and get more into a farm sort of atmosphere, get some of that rural ambiance, it's definitely a great place to go. Big shout out to them too. They're really into conservation, into being environmentally friendly. They planted thousands of trees all over their property and elsewhere. Feed boxes for birds, for bats, really kind of very environmentally focused, which I think is definitely important. In 2022, we should be mindful of that. Agreed. Till next time, folks. We'll see you at Beer of the Week next week. Until then, cheers. Craft Beer is, is here. here.